Hello and welcome back to a brand new vlog. My name is Orion and I make videos every single Wednesday and Sunday and I post them at 6pm and I am super excited to announce and reveal my brand new home which I am going to be moving into in the next two months. This is going to be the first time I have ever walked around this, uh, this place and had a look at what I am contending with because from my understanding, there is a, a lot of work to be done. I can already see there is a window missing there where a bird flew into it and smashed it. And uh, this is our lovely front door. It is currently locked, so we're gonna have to go around the back. I have already done a uh, quick walk around the building and seen that there is quite a lot of overgrowth that we're gonna have to contend with. Uh, we have a lovely back garden here, uh, which you can see needs some work. The incredibly old oil tanker that definitely needs cleaning up, but... Yeah, you can see the garden's quite high. Look, Benji, <laughs> come and stand here, look, Benji. Yeah, the, the grass is uh, the grass is quite long, as you can see. I believe this is essentially the back garden, and then if we step through the wall, we actually get a lovely little paddock space as well. What we're going to do with the space, I don't know, but we can essentially extend our garden and put like a play area maybe over there for Benji all that kind of stuff or we can choose to park our cars here if we like but this is a complete view from the back and there is just so much space to work with but i think we head through the door and take a look around i am actually dreading a little bit as to what i'm going to find in here uh, because i don't think it's in the best condition this this room is uh is is very packed full of cardboard and stuff which is going to have to be cleared out. However, this is actually a pretty good space. Obviously, right next to the back door, we can store like a, a shoe cupboard here with all our boots and stuff. Obviously, hang our coats up. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we put a bar across here and then we can put all of our utilities underneath to do washing and stuff like that. But yeah, pretty good space. Just like excuse all the boxes. Obviously, people are moving out right now. And I think it's probably safe to say at this point that you need to keep your eyes really wide open into the future of what is possible with this place because obviously in the condition it's in right now, it's been moved out of and it's not been properly looked after for a few years so stuff like the ceiling uh, is all gonna have to be sanded down everything's gonna be painted and cleaned up and stuff like that but we're kind of trying to look at this property from like a walls floor ceiling perspective after the boot room slash utility room we walk into the kitchen which is a a really nice space uh, the kitchen actually looks really nice the cupboards and stuff like that so i don't think too much needs to be done in here i need to figure out what i'm going to do about my oven because my oven sits into the kitchen worktop it's not a freestanding unit it like that one so we have to figure out what we do with that but there are a few cupboards in this room I'm not sure what's in them can i get in this cupboard wiggle 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 that is one stiff door holy moly right looks like we have a boiler in there that's another boiler for all of the uh the water heating and stuff like that uh, I'm gonna have to inspect that, I think, off camera. And then through here, we actually have like a pantry room, I believe. Yeah, pantry room, nice little box room. I would like to put shelving and stuff in here, but one thing I am noticing is that this is one big stone shelf, which I can't imagine is coming out easily, if at all. So yeah, we're probably gonna have to work around this, but uh, that, is the kitchen. Leaving the kitchen, we enter the corridor, and I believe that is the entrance to the loft. Uh, I'm not gonna poke my head around there today, but I've been told no one's been up there for a very long time. You're introduced to what I can only describe as a really nice floor. I can't remember what it's called, but it is incredibly expensive, and I think I'm gonna sand it all down and then put like a lacquer on top of it to bring it back to life, but this, is a lounge, which is a huge space. Yeah, this room is actually massive. It's, it's actually got a working fire in it as well. I believe it needs to have a chimney sweep go up there and stuff like that. I would do it myself, but I have no idea what I'm doing and I don't want to create too much mess. So it might be worth getting someone else to do that. But wow, yeah, this is a lovely room. I am probably going to be putting my desk here so, so somewhere in this space. I'm not 100% sure right now on where I'm gonna lay out things, but obviously I'm gonna be working in the lounge. So I'll probably have my desk in here somewhere, our sofa and stuff like that, television, use it as a lounge, but this is where I'm essentially gonna be working from. Not entirely sure what's in this cupboard. Oh, that's actually a pretty big cupboard. There's a lot of storage in that one. And uh, if you want access to the kitchen, it's got one of these old school kitchen flaps. I can't remember what they're called actually. I'm stretched for word today. I'm actually 
really struggling remembering what things are. A kitchen hatch, that is what that is called. Anyways, if we leave the, uh, the lounge and head down the corridor, we have got our first cupboard down the corridor, which is currently empty, lots of room in there, probably to hang even more coats as we are near the front door. Uh, and then I believe the same for the space above. Yeah, nice little cupboard. The first door on the right takes you into the bathroom. <laughs> Gonna have to fix that one. Uh, and this is definitely gonna have to have tiles down, probably new tiles in and stuff like that. I've seen that shower head online. I always get ads on like TikTok or Instagram for that shower head. It's meant to have like some crazy power, like pressure, but I, I don't think it does. I think it's a bit of a gimmick, but yeah. So work to be done in here. The next room down, I believe this is probably going to become Benjamin's room, which is currently being used as an office. It's a, it's a nice sized room. I don't know how we're gonna petition this one as Benjamin's bed as well as the baby is going to be in here eventually. I like the baby, so the baby. Jess just thinks that we should put Benjamin's bed there. Cot can go in that corner and then obviously you've got all of this floor space for, for playing in. And then at the very end of the bungalow is what our bedroom is going to be or become in here. Obviously the layout for this room will change, but one thing that's probably gonna be saying the same is Jess will have a desk in this corner because she works from home as well. But a decently sized room with built-in wardrobes, which I'm actually really happy for. And I think for the first time, I'll be able to put a bed in the middle of the room and actually walk around it because at home right now, obviously we built the snug and stuff like that. When you lay the bed in the, in the center of the room, you can't squeeze past it. It's really annoying. So plenty of room in this space. Or should I say plenty of space in this room. But there you have it. That is a tour of what is going to be our new home in the, in the coming months. Uh, as you watch this right now, or if you watch this on release, the plan is currently to have the baby at our current home in the flat uh, because we're near a hospital and stuff like that. And then we are going to slowly like renovate this house, paint it, sort the floors out, the ceilings, all that good stuff and turn it into a nice home to move into once the baby arrives. Because you can see this place does need a good lick of paint and there is lots to be done. I'm actually going to go around now with this uh, laser measure and measure up every single room so I can go home and draw out a floor plan for this building because there isn't actually one at the moment. And that allows me to put a bit more planning and thought into the process of what I'm going to be doing here, how we're going to lay things out. Uh, and I can measure it against my furniture at home and stuff like that. So I'm all prepared uh, and ready to go when the time comes. Because the one thing, I, the one mistake that I made with the garage, as I've mentioned before, is I didn't take the time to plan it. And I really want to put a lot of thought into this because we're going to be here for quite some time. So with that in mind, I interrupt from the future because I thought it'd be quite interesting to show how we go from like all of this like numbers and floor plan on paper into photoshop where i essentially draw a blueprint or slash a floor plan of the property one of the first things i do is i draw the whole floor plan into photoshop and i convert millimeters into pixels so when i highlight a room like this is the boot room i know exactly that it is 2.787 meters by 2.375 this is really handy for when i measure my furniture i can also convert the measurement of of my furniture in pixels and I can put it in the room and I'll know exactly if it fits in said room. After I've done that, I pretty it up by turning it into a not to scale floor plan that looks a little bit something like this. Following floor plans that have been drawn and, and shared online for absolutely forever, I just go into Photoshop and I draw my own with the measurements of each room. So even though it's not exactly to scale, I know that you know the utility room is this size, kitchen, where the pantry is, bathroom, cupboards, which way doors swing and stuff like that. And it's really good for planning out how we wanna design or renovate the house. Not only that, but I think it's nice to show something like that because it probably gives you guys a better idea of what the house looks like. As when I'm filming it and walking around first person and stuff like that, it's kind of hard to gauge where things are sometimes depending on how I film the clips. So hopefully now you get a good idea of what the house kind of layout is like and uh, what we're working with. Albeit temporary because this isn't actually going to be our forever home. So let's jump into the vlog so you guys can find out why. For those people who haven't watched my update video, we are basically moving into this place for two to three years, maybe something like that. And then they're gonna knock it down and probably move it. At which point we will move into a new home uh, that's more in the family and stuff like that. I'm not gonna go into all the logistics of how that's going to work, but just so everyone understands what the process is, we're taking a rather large risk to move here temporarily to be closer to my mom and stuff like that. Uh, and then from there, 
we're going to go into another house and then maybe from there to another house and stuff like that. So it's quite a lot of moving, but the opportunity came up and it was something that we could not pass on. So this is house move number one. Then a few years time, we'll move into house number two. And then a few more years down the line, we'll move into our, what are we going to call forever home? One thing is for sure, I am looking forward to living in the countryside. As odd as it is going to be to move out of a place where I've lived for 13 plus years, it, I have I am so ready for this move and it's just a stepping stone but it's going to be worth it in the end uh, obviously for those people who are interested in like the renovation side of things I'm not going to go too crazy with this house just because of the simple fact is we are not going to be here long enough to warrant a big investment of money but we are going to tidy it up and make it look nice so even though they're going to knock it down maybe, maybe if we make it nice enough they won't knock it down but you never know uh, i would like it to be a nice home and we're going to be here for long enough to warrant that kind of renovation whether that is simply cleaning things up or potentially adding temporary stud walls to partition room so i can have my office space a little bit separate from the lounge but with my measuring tools at the ready i am going to wrap up this vlog here and do a bit more of a in-depth inspection of what i need to do whether that's like you know the paintwork on the walls or just get a lay of how the floor plan looks and stuff like like that so thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it in the next vlog i believe i'm going to be going down the road to my mom's uh, to go showcase what we're planning with the campsite because whilst i have briefly mentioned it about like are oh, we're planning on doing these things or we might do these things or the potential coming up we are in the process behind the scenes talking about it like every day like we are currently working on it and i would love to get your guys feedback so make sure you tune into the next vlog where i showcase a bit more of the farm and those things but if you have enjoyed this video guys please do leave it a thumbs up and i'd appreciate that if you are new to my channel hit subscribe if you're excited to uh, see what i do with this place and many things down the line i would greatly appreciate it but as always guys been ryan thank you so much for watching peace peace much love Bye bye